Jethro, that's the name of Moses' father-in-law, was a priest of Midian. The place Midian is the name, is the name, is the place of the name of the men who founded that place, the city. So who founded the city is a man called Median. Now who is Median? Genesis chapter 25 verses 1 and 2 tells us, he was one of the six sons of Abraham. See, after Sarah died, Abraham remarried a woman called Keturah. And six sons were born to them. And Median is one of them. Median, being a son of Abraham, had the knowledge of the true living God from his father Abraham. Now, Jethro has another name called Ruel. In Exodus chapter 2, verse 18, you'll find that name. So he's called Ruel Jethro. Now, the word Ruel means in the Hebrew, a friend of God. That's what the Bible calls him. He was a friend of God. So for Jethro to be called a friend of God, and then the Bible also says he is a priest. So he had a rich heritage of worshipping and knowing the true living God. And he worshipped the true most high God. You know, I dig up some history about this Jethro. And I found that because that he was in Midian, and Midian, among the many lands in the Canaan, was, according to Bible scholars, is a land of pagan worship. So they always mistake that Jethro was a priest of pagan gods. From the natural, that's how it may look like. But the more I meditated about Jethro, it doesn't tally with what Bible scholars are saying. It doesn't tally. Because if he was a god of the, or the priest of pagan gods, he would not have known some secret knowledge about Horeb. Horeb was one of the chosen mountains of the holy God. There are few places on this earth that have been chosen by God to be his places of dwelling place or his places where he comes down. One such place was in Egypt. Another such place there in uh, Sinai area. Another place in Jerusalem. Previously, all these were pre-selected places among many places. Today, God is everywhere. But then again, we cannot deny the fact there are still some selected places where they are specially set aside and designed by God to be special. These are some chosen places. So Jethro, or Roel, was not just a priest of some pagan gods, but the priest of the Most High God. As such, he knew of the spiritual significance of Mount Horeb, or Mountain of God. That's why they knew that this is not an ordinary mountain, but it was a mountain of God.